So you want to predict the future. You want to estimate what the market expectations are of inflation. We're going to need these two to start working everything out. So we've got the nominal interest rate, which is typically formed from government bonds, and the real interest rate, which is derived from inflation index securities, like index linked guilds. In the UK, at least, uh, index linked guilds are linked to RPI, which is not UK's target inflation measure, that's CPI. Index linked guilds reflect market expectations of RPI inflation, not CPI. Anyway, so I is going to be, let's say, 8%. So that's going to be the uh, uh, return from our government bond average. And let's take J to be 4%. The equation that you're going to use is going to be F equals I minus J over 1 plus J. So if we now plug this all in, converting this into a decimal is 0 0.08, converting this is 0 0.04 you're going to get 0 0.08 minus 0 0.04 over 1 plus 0 0.04. If we now simplify this out, you're going to get 0 0.038. That's a little dot over there that recurs uh, and so on. If you want to turn this into a, a percentage, we multiply it by 100. So it's going to be 3.85%. So that's the prediction on what the inflation rate is going to be. And as of the time of this recording, that's pretty accurate as to what the UK government has said is the current inflation rate in the United Kingdom.